We're back in the CIA kitchen with 217 Foodies and Cured Catering. Brian Riley, has prepared, he's prepared this incredible Creole gumbo that utilizes some pretty high-end products. And Jevin, you're actually behind one of the products that he's put into there, some of that cured sausage. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, what you've plated up for us here, Brian. So this is our Creole gumbo. Uh, we've got some Illinois influences, as I said before. We've got some local ramps that are in, in the mix. Uh, but we've also got a poblano sausage that Jevin has prepared for us. Uh, we're actually the first in Sangamon County and Morgan County to do our own cured meats in-house. And Jevin's the one that, that started that program with us. So. Now, that's a pretty big deal, doing your own cured meats, because that's quite the process, right? Yeah, it's, it gets pretty complicated. It's a lot about pH levels and water activities. You got to really understand what you're doing to the meat to be able to take uh, you know, a two-year-old meat and feed it to the public and feel comfortable with it. You really <laughs> want to check all those boxes. Because, you know, not only does it need to be safe, but it also has to taste amazing. And yes. um, I'm telling you, that looks incredible. We'll taste it in a minute. Um, I want to talk a little bit about your menu, Brian. Um, tell me about what you guys are doing over at Cured Catering besides what we've seen here today. So we like to take a lot of classic favorites. We take some comfort foods, we take classics, things that you know, and we really bring our flair to it. We cook everything from scratch. Uh, we like to source see, uh, locally, and so we, that makes it seasonal. And so we bring in the farms with what we're doing, and we're really focusing on, you know, that seasonal, that fresh, that local spin on classic favorites. I like that. I like that local approach because I think it forces you probably to look at ingredients that a lot of people are overlooking. Absolutely, and it really changes whether we do a fall wedding or a spring wedding. Uh, our salespeople are making, making those calls and saying, hey, we're in October. We need to look at what's fresh in October because we really want to source and use our local farms. Now, you guys are Springfield-based, but yes. what areas do you serve as far as events go? So we're Springfield-based. We're actually cooking in Jacksonville now. We're building a catering kitchen in Dawson, uh, but we'll, we'll go all the way up to Eureka, Peoria, Champaign area, down to Litchfield, about an hour and 20 minute um, span. And so we've that's gone just farther. about the whole central Illinois um, area. Yeah. That's fantastic. And um, you guys are, you pride yourselves on your custom displays and really sure. doing something that's more almost theatrical sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm 30 years in the business, but I've done a lot with booking bands and things like that. And I took those skills, those theatrics, into our cooking. So when somebody walks into an event and Cured's there, I want them to be able to look across the room and say, hey, Cured Catering's here. So That's we awesome. use a lot of lights, we use a lot of theatrics. Now we're almost out of time, so we gotta give sure. this a try. So I'm gonna hand these out. Yeah. Jevin, while we're <laughs> passing these around, tell us again about 217 Foodies and uh, why people might wanna join the group. Yeah. It's a great group. It's got a good sense of community. We see a lot of uh, opportunities for small businesses that start posting. One person goes there, raves about the business, and next thing you know, their business is packed and they're doing an amazing job. Uh, I've seen a lot of that happen to a lot of businesses. Um, it's also a really good resource to get onto and just do a search. You know, if you're on a Facebook group, look in the top right corner. There's a little search icon there. You can search style of food. So you want to know the best Chinese in Springfield? Get there and put that in. You're going to find it. Or pizza, fried chicken, whatever it is, do the search and you're going to get it. It's pretty useful. I just stopped listening to you there because I got lost in this <laughs> this bowl of goodness. I'm done talking. We're good. This is delicious, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And those that cured meat is next level, Jevin. I don't know what you guys are doing, but keep doing it because Thank you. this is incredible. And if you guys want to connect with Geared Catering um, and make sure you get connected on 217 Foodies, the group, um, we'll connect you on our website after today's show. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you.